Li Fa Min, a household brand close to the hearts of many Sarawakians, started from humble beginnings in the 1950s as a trading company to a traditional noodle maker. Now in its third generation, Li Fa Mi is a global manufacturer of dried and instant noodles, including local snacks. In today's episode, we speak to Li Fa Mi about their pursuit for great taste and innovations for more generations to come. Hello and welcome to Brand Pulse with me, Mariana, as your host. And today's episode, we will be looking at a brand close to the heart of many Sarawakian, started from a very humble beginning in the 1950s. Now in its third generation, Lee Fami needs no further introduction. Welcome, Ms. Chai and also Mr. Derek as the Managing Director of Lee Fami and also the Sales Coordinator. Welcome and thank you for joining our show. Perhaps you can give a little bit of background about yourself. Selamat datang ke tanah bumi Kenyalang. Sarawak City menua tak cukup mana. Serta mayor macam bangsa. Kami dia engau likun. Dalam menua tak cukup mana tu. Aku kagang nyadi anak Sarawak. Oh, wah, that's a really nice greeting. Hello, 大家好，我是 Derek Chai， 现在目前是李发明的 Managing Director。在在这之前，我是在中国，我们是我在那边是负责机器啊、呃、的行业啊、呃，我在中国已经有生活了二十多年，在七年前啊、呃，我的父母亲让我回来，进帮忙家里的家族事业啊、呃。坦白说，在以前，因为我是经营的那个机器的行业。对食品行业是一窍不通，所以在那个时候，我连饭都也不懂得怎么去煮，啊，回到古晋以后，啊，我的同事帮忙我，然后让我去了解一下怎么去制作食品，然后我也从中国那边请了一些专家来到古晋，帮我们的公司制作一些新产品。从那从那边开始，我就慢慢接触了食品这个行业。呃，说真的，也很、很的、很不好去这个食品，不容易呃掌握。我也花了好长的好几年的时间去慢慢才理解怎样去做做好一个食品啊。然后在，因为以前我们我是机械行业出身。所以回到古晋，呃，我们的工厂以后，我就不断的尝试去改变我们的生产线，让它更加顺畅，更加有效益。然后我也从中国买了，呃，一些设备跟仪器来帮助协助我们的生产线提高它的产量。然后我们的经过了呃一段时间的改造以后，嗯。我们的工人也很开心，因为这样有帮助，协助他们减轻他们的工作的那些呃压力啊，这样他们就很开心。就是从那个时候开始呢，慢慢解决了一些问题以后，那些工人就很开心，他们就会更加的愿意啊、呃、去呃协助我改造呃这些呃机器也好啦，管理工作也好、呃。有时候我就跟他们讲，哎，我们来。呃，搬动一下，移动一下这些设备，让让我们来呃试一下新的方式啊，他们都很高兴，都愿意配合。嗯啊，好 ，so happy employees, higher productivity. How about Miss Miss Chai? Yeah, yeah. Can you share a little okay. bit. Okay, let me introduce myself again. Um, I'm Chin Siu. I'm currently the sales coordinator for Lee Family Syndrome Berhad. So before I joined this company one and a half years ago. I'm actually a business program educator in a private institution for more than ten years, and I've quit this job、um, just because of family as well. Then、um, there's one time a lot of people ask me, especially my former students' parents. They ask, "Hi, Miss Chai, why did you、um, quit this professional career?"、Um, frankly speaking, I don't think this is a、e um, how to say a very easy things for me to pursue. But I think it's a wise decision for me to do so. Like what I said, I've ventured into education industry for、um, quite long period of time. 
So I think it's time for me to step out from this comfort zone and seek to advance myself in terms of my social skills, my self-enhancement, self-development. And I always tell myself that I'm willingly to accept any challenges, especially in this real business industry. So uh, thank you, Mr. Derek and Ms. Chai for your sharing. Definitely both of you have very interesting and diverse background. So we will be right back after the break. And when we come back, Mr. Derek will share about its top seller and its product innovation. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to Brand Pulse. Again, thank you very much, Mr. Derek and Ms. Chai for joining us on the show. So earlier before the break, uh, you talk about your background. And then uh, before we share about your top seller, can you share a brief about how Lee Fami brand started? Uh, Lee Fami Trading is in 1955. We Okay, so after that, uh, from the trading and then you go on to making the noodles because I understand that you are a traditional noodle mm. maker. Mm. Yeah. In the early years, in 1970, we were doing dried noodles. Uh, we were very busy. And then, 拿去太阳下面去晒干的很努力去做好这个视频 Like right now, so can you perhaps introduce the top two best seller, the top flavors of Li Fami? What are the flavors and why? 是的,我们比较畅销的产品就是 Abelin Chicken 跟 Zawa Gali 然后经历了这么多年的演编 我们也逐渐开发了很多不同的新产品去学习怎么做这个米粉这个口感也做到比较适合我们当地人喜欢吃辣沙人的口感。So uh, what started as uh, at, uh, from a noodle maker, you actually innovated to become the instant bihun or we call it rice vermicelli. So that's the first rice vermicelli. And then how about maybe Miss Chai, uh, looking at uh, you know, the acceptance of the younger audience, the perspective of the younger audience, what other product innovation? Because uh, from a, from from my, my my point of view, I see Li Fami as a very traditional brand. So how do you break the barrier and and, and penetrate the younger audience? I mean younger okay. yeah, yeah younger market actually yeah. Um, before that, let me um say something because um since we are instant noodle manufacturers, we are actually um uh, how to say. We are very lucky because we are not affected by the pandemic, uh, COVID-19. So I think that um, 
in order to increase the brand value of Li Fami, we cannot just remain stagnant there, but we have to do something. So one of the most important part that we have done, or we think that it's necessary for us to do, is the engagement of the e-commerce. So um, according to the study that I've, um, um, I've gained from the Facebook source um, titled The COVID Impact of COVID-19, um, about 35% um, of the people started uh, non-food shopping. But eventually, there's 59% started the uh, grocery shopping after the MCO period. So from all these statistics, we know that um, e-commerce is not about a trend now, but it is a form of a no new norm for us to accept it. And that's why we think that it is time for us to shift from a very conventional business method to a more digitalized approach. That's why we engage ourselves in e-commerce. But of course, it's very hard for us to venture into this one because like what I've said, we are in a very conventional approach. So I've actually convinced the management, why not we try something new? Why not we try something like um, that is very innovative? So um, eventually they've agreed. Mm -hmm. And um, given the impact of all the aspects of the uh, how to say, um, digital, digitalization towards the world economy, we actually um, cooperate with few established companies in Malaysia dealing with the e-hailing services as well as the airline website. Mm -hmm. So um, fortunately, the outcome is very good. Right. Okay, very good. And um, how to say, there's a lot of people that will go through the apps or website and how to say, and choose any product that they want. Yes. yes. So Lifami is actually already on e-commerce platform. Yes. Right. And I understand that uh, you recently also launched. It's actually a the Sarawak Laksa Keropok, mm -hmm. which was uh, viral. Sarawak Laksa Keropok. So maybe you can bring us through the the flavor. Why Sarawak Laksa Keropok? Uh, why why the taste? Why the design? Are there any challenges to develop this uh, new product? Can oh. you share with us? Mm. Yeah. yeah. 其实在这个已经花了我花了好几年的时间去不断的去研究怎么做这个拉萨格罗棒但都不成功都不成功因为一直试一直试可是就是吃不到那个感觉它的口感当时一开始做的不是很好味道也不好一直做一直试试了不断的失败了也是不过我们还是不放弃了继续试我记得在二零一九年在二零一九年在那个 所以我就做好就把它收起来了然后当时我们的同事就问了有没有新产品可以试一下好了我就把那个sample拿出去给他们try然后很意外的他们他们都说哦很好吃哦他们说可不可以在华人新年之前把它推出去啊我说好啊那
Yep. Is this inspired by Penang Asam Laksa? Oh no, this is actually our own Sarawakian style Asam Laksa. Okay, yes. then perhaps you can share a little bit behind what is this new launch about? What's the flavor behind the packaging? Yeah, can you share a little bit with us? Jack?从拉沙,我们继续做的时候,我们想,诶,我们可以在开发多一点什么新的产品吗?适合我们当地人的口味的,呃,有些辣的,有些酸的,哦,然后我们就想到,诶,不如我们试一下做这个阿萨
um, learn to trade with um, Western countries, especially European countries. Because I know that European countries, um, people, they like something that is exotic or uh, something a very special taste. And for also, we actually, lately, we actually have inquiries um, from countries like from the Latin and Central America, like Argentina. Yes, this is what we are proud of. Right. Yes. Uh, Mr. Derek, any comments? Uh, I think the most difficult part is that my father, my father, my 他们是经历了最困难的创业的时候他们那时候是确实是很辛苦很不容易把一个家族的企业给建立起来的所以我们作为第三代应该要好好的去继续改进下去把这份事业传承下去 Yes, Alright, I think that's very inspiring okay, Before we end the show I would do you have any final advice to future business owners or uh, young entrepreneurs outside? Mm -hmm. Do you have any words of advice for them? Okay, yeah. to the younger generation, I think um, this younger generation should think differently by exploring, continue exploring and trying new ideas and keep challenging yourself and learn from mistakes especially and try to develop yourself. The most important part is you have to believe in yourself. And because I'm from the educator, um, how to say, industry, so I would like to, how to say, encourage the younger generation to become a never-ending reader. Keep your mind exploring because reading will become an important source of lifetime learning. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Derek Sisiani and then Ms. Chai. Thank you very thank much you. for being with us on the show. And we are really proud of Lifami and we hope that Lifami will continue to drive more innovation in new products in your pursuit of quality and great taste. Thank you for watching Brand Pulse and see you in the next episode for more brand insights from business leaders. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email us at talktous at tbstv.my. See you.